Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Max. So I hope you're all staying safe and well out there. In today's video, I come at you with the news on an update on the news circulating around James Madison to Newcastle United. Now, obviously we know that the first bid Newcastle placed for James Madison was rejected by Leicester City. And of course, Newcastle have put in an approved bid for James Madison, uh, which was, of course, rumoured to be £50 million by some of the uh, media outlets. Some of them were quoting 45-plus add-ons uh, for James Madison. But the reports are now coming from Keith Downey uh, a la Twitter uh, that, of course, you know, that has now been rejected. If that is true or not, uh, still remains to be seen, but it is coming from Keith Downey, of course, uh, somebody that is quite reliable when it comes to you know, the news on the transfers and uh, Newcastle United with him being, of course, the North East correspondent for Sky Sports. Uh, so he does deal in a lot of the information circulating around, of course, the North East uh, scene for football. So if that's the case, you know, uh, that it has been rejected, the second bid, you know, where do we go from here? Uh, do Newcastle place a, a third bid? For James Madison or do we move on from this you know and look elsewhere do we look at you know maybe bringing in Lucas Paqueta from Lyon uh, Lyon of course have been taken over now so is Paqueta still on the table to be bought from Lyon uh, remains to be seen at the moment because there hasn't been too much information you know going around about if Paqueta is still available uh, you know for to be sold off with them having their takeover now complete at Lyon. So, you know, it still remains to be seen. It's still a little bit left of the window. Obviously, we've got right the way till the 1st of September. So we're just under uh, a month now left of the window. And, of course, you know, we've signed some pretty decent players in this window. There's a lot of talk going around of... Three players that Newcastle are really trying to bring in in this window uh, at the moment. And that is, of course, James Madison. With this now, of course, being the second bid Newcastle's put in and it's being rejected by Leicester. Do we go in with a third bid, which, you know, maybe could have the possibility of having Martin de Brafka in there included in the bid. That, of course, would help Leicester, you know, with their goalkeeping situation that they have now. Uh, to deal with, of course, with Casper Schmeichel going off to Nice. And, you know, if we add Martin Dubravka into a deal for James Madison, maybe that could sway the deal in with favour if we haven't already offered, you know, Martin Dubravka in that deal to begin with because there's some rumours going around that we have included uh, Dubravka in the deal. But the other two players that we're looking at in this window right now, of course, on Maxwell Connett of uh, Burnley. Of course, he wants to move away from Burnley. doesn't want to be playing in the championship. Burnley wants £17.5 million for Maxwell Connett as well. And I've already talked about him on the channel. And I've already talked about this £17.5 million deal as well. Uh, reports, of course, coming from Craig Hope on that one, which I've talked about as well, where you know Craig Hope says that Newcastle are looking for a structured deal. For Maxwell Cornet, uh, I don't know, you know, if that's going to be the case or not. But I think Newcastle are maybe waiting a little bit longer, you know, to see if Burnley do lower down that fee uh, for Cornet, you know, because at the end of the day they are desperate for the money. Uh, the same with Leicester here, you know, Leicester haven't signed a player in this window yet, uh, so. You know, Leicester are going to be desperate to get that money in to make improvements into their team uh, if they want to, you know, be competing in this uh, season. They're going to need to have money to improve areas. I mean, you know, Brendan Rodgers was talking about having a revitalised side, improving uh, the Leicester side, and he can't do that because the owners haven't given them the money to do that at uh, the King Power. And the only way they're going to be able to do that uh, there at the King Power is of course if they sell James Madison and of course Wesley Fofana is another one that they're trying to get off their books as well uh, to you know free up some cash for them to be able to go out there 
and bring in some uh, players to improve their squad. But, you know, we're seeing, as reports from Keith Downey has said, you know, that they have yet again rejected another bid from Newcastle United. Now, if that bid included Martin Debrefka or not, still remains to be seen. But, you know, if it didn't, then I say we'll go back in with a third bid. We'll put Martin Debrefka in on that uh, bid, you know, and maybe that could sway the deal in our favour. Uh, the other player that Newcastle are mainly trying to focus on as well is Timo Werner uh, from Chelsea. And of course, uh, he is a player that Chelsea are wanting to loan out with an option to buy. That could be absolutely beneficial to us. Uh, we need somebody that can come in and play uh, for us up top. Because we know, you know, Callum Wilson is going to pick up an injury at some point during this season. We know this now, you know, after how many uh, seasons that Callum Wilson has been here and what, you know, injury problems he's had uh, being here as well. That we know he's going to pick up an injury. We know that at some point during this season we're going to have a situation where we do not have Callum Wilson there. Uh, to play up top and we need to have somebody there that can play in the team forward and Timo Werner would be that player. Timo Werner's stats say it all. Uh, 89 games, 23 goals, 21 assists. I know I keep saying them stats on the videos but I'm getting it across there that this guy knows how to score goals, how to assist goals as well. He contributes all over the field and he would be very beneficial to us uh, you know, if we could acquire him in this window on a loan with an option to buy as well. Uh, so you could, you know, say that Chelsea could pay a portion of his wages on the loan. You know, that would help uh, us as well in the FFP uh, structure of things, which is obviously what we need to be looking at. Because at the moment, yes, we've got the mega bucks, we've got loads and loads of money to just be able to go out there and splash right, left and centre. But we do not have that FFP structure to back up them uh, mega bucks. We don't have that structure there in place that you see at the likes of Manchester City, Liverpool. You know, we don't have that kind of structure uh, in place of the FFP because of the neglect that was shown at the club over the past 15 years of absolute bad ownership. And now we've got owners in who know what they're doing, but they just don't have that FFP structure there to be able to back up that money. Uh, so until we do get that FFP structure in place to be able to back up the spending that we can do, you know, we have to do what we're doing now in this window and what we've done in the January window. We've got to take it with time. Patience is a virtue, as uh, Gadassi said. You know, we need to wait it out. And if we can get in the likes of Timo Werner, on a loan with an option to buy. Absolute fantastic deal in this window that would be. If we can get James Madison in, it would be, again, another fantastic deal. He's got the Premier League experience. And, you know, talking about the comparing the two, you know, between Madison and Paqueta, I can't say the Paqueta one uh, at the moment because there's still no news if he is actually still available or not because of their takeover that they have now completed uh, at Lyon so if he's still on the table or not I do not know uh, but I'm starting to question the rumours that we're going around about 34 million for Paqueta because if that was true and that was the amount you know Man City would have been in there by now for Lucas Paqueta any club would have been in there by now for the uh, Lucas Paqueta that guy is absolutely sensational and I don't think there'd be a single team out there that would not have jumped on a £34 million pound deal to bring Lucas Paqueta to their club or €34 million Euro, what have you deal uh, to bring Paqueta to their club because he is just absolutely sensational. So I'm starting to question uh, them rumours that we're going around about a £34 million pound deal for Paqueta uh, that, you know, the Lyon owners were actually quoting and of course they've been taken over now so is he still on the table or not still remains to be seen but at the moment the biggest news coming out of Newcastle United is that of course James Madison's second bid has been rejected by Leicester according to Keith Downey of course so you know only time will tell uh, if we can bring in James Madison in this window 
uh, if he will become a Newcastle United player. Uh, only time will tell, you know, if Timo Werner will become a Newcastle United player, if Maxwell Cornet will become a Newcastle United player, or if even Lucas Piquetta will eventually become a Newcastle United player. But at this moment in time, the biggest news, like I say, is James Madison's uh, bid being rejected once again. But it's very, very slow at the moment in the window. I think, you know, there is a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes. We're just going to have to be patient and wait it out and see, you know, what happens. Uh, but we've got that game coming up. Uh, first game of the season on the 6th of August against Nottingham Forest. Uh, there will be a preview coming out on the channel for that one uh, in the coming days. So keep an eye out for that. Until next time, I'll see you all later. And how are the lads?